Hey guys and welcome back. In this section, we'll be focusing on some key concepts of Python programming. Variables, comments, built-in data types and operators. Let's start off with variables. What is a variable, how to declare a variable and how to use variables in Python. A variable is one of the fundamental concepts of any programming language. We use variables to store the data the application is working with. A variable is nothing more than a label or a name for a memory location where a value, which can be manipulated, is stored. To be more concise, I'd like to give you a simple example. Let's suppose you develop a simple script that converts miles to kilometers. When running the script, it will ask for the number of miles then the user will enter a value, let's say 10, and the script will give the corresponding value in kilometers, which is 16.09. By the way, one mile equals 1.609 kilometers. The value 10 entered by the user will be saved by the program in a variable somewhere in the memory. To be more precise, in the RAM memory. All variables are saved in RAM memory. So we can define a variable as a name for a memory location or address that stores a value. In our example 10, a variable has a name and as the variable word implies, the value stored in it can be changed. I'm creating a new Python script in PyCharm. In Python, you can simply create a new variable by typing the variable name, the equal sign and the value that will be stored in the variable. For example, miles equals 10. This creates a variable named miles that stores the value 10. The variable was created the moment you first assigned a value to it. Now, if you want to modify the value stored in the miles variable, you write uh, miles, the equal sign, and the new value, for example, 15. We won't go into details now, but we'll have a long discussion about mutable and immutable variables, which means what happens with the variable when we change the value stored in it. You can also declare multiple variables on a single line like this. 1, B, C equals 1, 2, 3. And I'm printing A, B, and C. By the way, print is a Python function used to display messages onto the screen. You give it a variable or a message as an argument and the function will display it on the screen. And I'm running the script you can see the values of a, b, and c. Or age, comma, name equals 30, comma, John. John in single quotes. I've created two variables. A variable called age that stores the integer value of 30 and another variable called name that stores a string or a sequence of characters with the value of John. By the way, if you add one or more spaces at the beginning of the line before the variable name, you'll get a syntax error. This is a syntax error because I added a Y space. Indentation is part of the syntax in Python and all instructions belonging to the same block of code should have the same indentation. Indentation refers to the spaces at the beginning of a code line. I'm removing the white space. Often, you'll see terms as defining a variable, declaring a variable, or initializing a variable. In other programming languages, for example in C or C++, there is a very clear distinction between declaring and defining a variable. Declaring means introducing a new name and type, for example, int miles, which means a new variable called miles 
will be created and it will store an integer value. And defining means allocating a value to that variable. For example, miles equals 10. By the way, this is not valid Python code. In Python, we don't have such a distinction because we don't explicitly specify the type of data the variable will store. A variable is also sometimes simply called a name and can store any type of value. A whole number or integer, a floating point number or simply a float, a sequence of characters or a string, a list, a reference to a file, and so on. Okay, we are done for the moment. In this video, we've learned what a variable is and how to declare a variable in Python. We'll take a short break and in the next video, we'll go over naming conventions for variables.